Hey, Fedhead Surgeon here with another Cigar Federation video review. Today we're reviewing a general cigar and it's a collaboration cigar. It's one of two cigars. We're doing the Time Flies coming up. Right now we're doing the uh, Hoy de Monterey Amistad. What's interesting about this, it was a collaboration blend with uh, AJ Fernandez, which is really interesting. Uh, and the second blend that we'll be doing later on, the Time Flies, also a collaboration with AJ Fernandez. He's an Ecuadorian Havana wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan Esteli binder and uh, fillers from Esteli, El Matepe, Candega, and Jalapa, so all four growing regions in Nicaragua. Uh, today we're smoking the Robusto, and that's a bit of a big Robusto. It's 5x54, MSRP on this bad boy, 759 Reasonable, very reasonable. In fact, might even be a little low if you think about it for a collaboration blend between General Cigar Company and AJ. Um, you would kind of think a cigar like that would be in the $859 range, so very, very approachable, very reasonable. I've already smoked one of these. Uh, you know, typically when I do a review, I try to smoke a couple of them. Um, first one is usually just to get a sense of the cigar, and then the second one or third one in this, if this if this were the case, would be done in, a, in an official capacity sitting in front of you doing the review. So let's get to the nosing here. It's got a really bright cedary, spicy cedary component on the nose. Like very spicy, very cedary. In fact, that's just dominating the profile here. On the foot, a little bit more hay, maybe a little bit of barnyard in there as well. Kind of interesting. I want to smoke, so let's get smoking here. Initial impressions, getting that cedar, getting a little bit of that spice. There's a little bit of creaminess under there. Nice start. Definitely get that Ecuadorian Habano wrapper here, even on a 54 ring gauge, having a lot of influence. Draw is kind of leading itself towards the open end. Not a lot of resistance on the draw at all. A lot of spiciness through Retro Hell. I would say a medium plus spiciness in the Retro Hell. Great start if you like a um, more full bodied cigar. This is definitely going to be leaning towards that. So we'll check back in as the cigar progresses here. Only five minutes or so in here, and the spice is continuing to build. It's got a lot of heat here. The draw is producing, even though the draw is, is towards the open end, it is producing a satisfying amount of smoke. So I do find myself not drawing as hard now that I know what the, uh, what the draw resistance is. Quite satisfying smoke production. And I do find that when you have very satisfying smoke production, you tend to puff a little bit less because you're getting a lot more out of each draw. So we'll check back in as the first third progresses here. Coming up on the fifth, coming up on the 15 minute mark here, is this really nice powdered cocoa coming through on the retro hell, and I was definitely present on the last sample that I smoked. So the spice is kind of giving away a little bit, giving giving away a little bit. There's some powdered cocoa, a little bit of creaminess underneath that, but the spice is still there. So it's it's kind of like a Mexican hot chocolate. You get that chocolate, you get that spice. Great combination. Big big fan of that combination. So we're about halfway through the first third already, smoking very fast, no doubt because of the draw, uh, again, towards the open spectrum. So probably another 10, 15 minutes here before we get into the middle third. Coming up on the 30 minute mark here in the Hoya de Monterey, the Amistad, taking the uh, AJ Fernandez band off of that. And wonderful first third, uh, lots of complex chocolate, lots of sweetness, lots of spice, all balanced, very tasty. First third's kind of winding down here. Wonderful creamy retrohale. Spice is kind of giving up a little bit on the retrohale. Certainly down to about a medium minus light plus. Wonderfully nuanced regular draw. Very, very good. Looking forward to the middle third here. Passing the 40 minute mark here. Delicious middle third. The chocolate's becoming a lot more nuanced, a lot more rich here in the middle third. Chocolate's becoming a lot more rich, a lot more nuanced here in the middle third. Very, very good. For a seven, seven and a half dollar cigar, this is an exceptional cigar. Very enjoyable. Spices are kind of there in the background now at a light plus level. So they kind of accent the end of the draw, kind of linger after the draw. But it's again, the sweetness is kind of cutting those spices down. So we'll see how the rest of this middle third performs. Passing the one hour mark. Middle third starting to wind down here. Still that rich sweetness, chocolate on the retro hail. Spice is really falling here. A little bit of earthiness coming through, but it's very subtle. On the regular draw. 
a little bit more of that earthiness in the regular draw, not offset by creaminess or the chocolate that I'm really picking in the retro helm. So we'll be in the final third here in about 5-10 minutes, and we'll see how the final third performs. Coming up on the hour and 20 minute mark here on the Hoyola Amistad. A little bit of citrus coming through here in the final third. The complexity is really fallen off, and I found that in the other sample I smoked. The first third and the second third were very complex and very rich, and it kind of fell off in the last third. Still very enjoyable, but just not up to the same level of complexity that I found in the first third and the, in the second third. So probably another 15 minutes here left in the cigar. If there's any profile changes, I'll certainly comment on them as we go. Uh, otherwise, I'll uh, check in as we finish up. Wrapping up the review of the Hoya La Amistad, the collaboration between AJ Fernandez and General Cigars. Performance of this uh, review sample was exactly the same as the cigar I smoked very, uh, that I smoked before. Excellent performance, uh, definitely ranking in the box split category, uh, especially for the, the money. The, the MSRP on this is extremely approachable. I think this is going to be a top performer for general. Um, definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. So we'll be back next week with another Cigar Federation Review Review. Thanks for everyone who tuned into this live review, and we'll see you next week. It's warm outside. I'm a motorbike. Mm. Hard to blame them, really. Spiciness through the retro hail. A lot of spiciness through retro hail. Plus spiciness in the retro hail. See how many times I can fit retro hail in a sentence there.